If you ever program with UIKit or AppKit, which are Apple's original UI frameworks for iOS and macOS, you'll know they use classes for their views rather than structs. In SwiftUI, we don't. We very strongly prefer to use structs across the board, and there are a couple of reasons why. First, there is an element of performance in this, because structs are simpler, faster things than classes are. Now, I say an element of performance because some folks think this is a primary reason when really it's just part of a larger picture. In UIKit, all our views descended from a parent class called UIView. What this meant was it had many, many properties and methods. Things like a background color, it had constraints to determine sizing and positioning, it had a layer to render into, and so much more. There were a lot of these things, and every UI view and every UI view subclass had to have them all in there, because that's how inheritance works. In SwiftUI, all our views are trivial structs, and they're basically free to create. Think about it. If you make a struct like this one here, and it holds here a single integer, the entire size of the struct is that integer. That's it. There's nothing else. There's no extra surprise values from parent classes or grandparent class or great grandparent classes. They contain exactly what you can see and nothing more. And thanks to the power of modern iPhones, I wouldn't think twice about making, say, a thousand integers or even a hundred thousand integers could happen in the blink of an eye. And the same is true of a thousand Swift UI views, or even a hundred thousand Swift UI views, because it's so fast, it stops being worth thinking about. However, even though performance is important, there's something much more important about views as structs. It forces us to isolate state in a clean way. You see, classes, they can just smash through things freely and change their values as much as they want to, which can lead to messier code. How would Swift UI be able to know when a value changed to update the UI? By producing views that do not mutate over time, Swift UI encourages to move to a more functional design approach. Our views are simple, inert things that simply convert data into UI, rather than intelligent things that can just grow and grow and grow out of control. You can see this in action, we look at the kinds of things that can be a view. For example, we already used color.red or linear gradient as views. It's a trivial type to hold very little data. In fact, it can't get much simpler than color.red as a view. It just says, I fill my space with red. That's it. There's no other information there at all. In comparison, Apple's documentation for UI view lists about 200 properties and methods that UI view has, all of which get passed on to its subclasses whether they need them or not. So, we prefer structs very, very strongly in SwiftUI. And in fact, if you use a class for your view, there's a very good chance either your code won't compile or will crash at runtime. Please trust me, use a struct for your views.